Welcome everyone to our Balance Yoga Flow. Let's start with the Trataka eye exercises on the top of our mat, separating our thumbs, just looking at the right one while the left goes outwards, doing the same with the right side, gazing at the left while you still see the right one on the side, just peripherically and then both of them apart while you just gaze in the center but you're able to see both of them on both sides and they slowly come back to center again lifting maybe back bend exhale inhale center exhaling hands together in front of the chest Slowly inhale and exhale in a forward fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale in plank. Breathe in, breathe out, knees, chest, and chin. Inhaling for cobra, exhale, curving the toes and pushing into downward dog, cycling the legs. Breathing, relaxing the neck and maybe squeezing shoulder blades. Heels can lower if that feels good. Lifting the tailbone to the sky. Inhaling, right leg up. Exhale, stepping it to the top of the mat. Lower the left knee. Breathing and gazing forward, arms up, low lunge, exhale, switching the energy of the upper body from side to side, swaying, gazing in the middle of your hands as if you're holding a sphere in between the hands, trying not to separate the hands too much, keep them above your head, and then move from side to side. more long breaths and free movements slowly back to center hands together in front of the chest interlace fingers flip the palms to the sky maybe lift to the right heel away from the mat arch gaze up as heel up add some balance chain challenge already Starting, tapping into balance. And exhale, hands framing the foot, curling the back toes, lifting the knee. And then floating the hands as you bend the front knee a little bit deeper. Or fingertips on the mat, holding a block works well, lifting the left leg all the way up in standing split try not to hold it too tight against the mat challenge your balance breathe drop the head gaze back keep the eyes open connected to your breathing through nostrils doesn't matter how much we lift but how we feel Slowly bring the left leg to cross on the top of the right in a type of chair tree pose, bending the base, the right knee, lifting the arms up. Sitting a little bit lower. Gazing at a point or twisty in front of you. Hands together in front of the chest. Slowly bringing the left foot to the back of the mat. Hands down, step into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathing in, a poor dog. Exhale, downward dog. Or keep doing knees, chest and chin. And uh, um, baby cobra or cobra before downward dog. 
we always pause and breathe in our downward dog, our home pose. Grounding, pressing the palms against the mat and inhale, left leg up. Exhaling, stepping the foot in between your hands, tapping the right knee and the top of the right foot down, lowering the hips, breathing in, arms up, holding that imaginary sphere, swaying it from side to side. As you observe your breathing and keeping the eyes positioned in between your hands. Balances are wonderful because we work a lot in our brain. We work many different parts of the brain, not only the body. And we overcome fear. Hands together in front of the chest and then hands down on the ground. Stepping forward as you lift the right leg up this time. Bringing the upper body towards the left leg, maybe holding a block in front of you or fingertips or maybe even floating the hands and standing split your expression of standing split stay observe and absorb from the pose and then cross the right leg the right shin on the top of the left thigh in a four figure maybe palms together in front of the chest or arms up you can choose tailbone is down and a little bit inwards base and knees bending deeply to hold your chair tree pose hybrid pose so good for balance and to connect it to the core as well hands together in front of the chest framing the foot down stepping back into plank inhale exhale chaturanga breathing in upward dog or cobra exhaling downward dog Squeezing shoulder blades together, lifting the tailbone, pressing the hands and feet down as we feel like doing or our body allows us to do it today. Always respecting the limits, the boundaries of the body. Breathing in, right leg up. Breathing out, stepping the foot through. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. Exhale, hands together in front of the chest, twisting to your right, using the left elbow against the right knee or thigh, gazing back or out. Breathing. Releasing with an exhalation, stepping the left foot halfway forward, maybe holding a block and going into warrior three, flexing the left foot behind, lifting that leg as much as we can, aligning with the spine, gazing down to the top of the mat. a little bit of adjustment here and there that's completely fine right hand reaches down left arm reaches up gaze out for half moon 
Ardha Chandrasana. Opening the chest out. Maybe hold a block under your right shoulder. Flexing the left foot. Aligning the arms. Breathing. Exhale, release the hands down, stepping back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Taking time to ground. If you need a child's pose, it's a great moment for that. Or stay in downward dog. to your breathing. Inhale, left leg up. Exhaling, stepping forward. Breathing in, high lunge. Hands together, twisting to the left, gazing back or out, lowering the hips the most we can. Lifting the crown, lowering shoulders, especially the right shoulder. Opening the heart, twisting the torso. Observing the breathing, keeping it steady, stable. Framing the foot, lifting the back leg, the right leg up to the sky. Maybe keeping hands down or holding a block or palms in front of the heart for warrior three. Flexing the back foot. Anytime you release, the pose is okay, but go back, resume it if you can. arm up, gazing out, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, deep breathing, hands down, stepping back into a plank, inhale, exhale, Chaturanga, breathing in upward dog, exhaling downward dog. Again, anytime we go into downward dog, feel free to get a moment in child's pose. Grounding your breathing. Maybe hopping forward or stepping there halfway up and from there lift all the way up bringing your right knee with you in a tree pose. I want the foot on the inner thigh but feel free to position your foot as you want leaning to the right just leaning against the top of your thigh with your right hand. You can see the pose clearly on the mirror. Inhale back to center, exhaling, releasing and stepping the right foot back for your flow. Back into child's pose or downward dog. Taking your time to breathe, gazing forward, lifting the left leg up and bringing it to the center of the mat in crunches, exhale down, inhale up, the other leg, exhale down, inhale up, just to bring a little bit of 
movement to your body one more time and hopping or stepping forward as you stand to you bring your left knee up three pose vrikshasana gazing at a point in front of you and it's optional to lean to the left resting the left hand on the top of the knee bringing the right arm towards the left side of the room breathing Present. Whoops. <laughs> Breathe out, hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathing in, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Or child's pose, balasana. Join into childs now. If you prefer to stay in downward dog, feel free. If you're in child's pose, bringing the heart close to the mat, separating the knees. Releasing the pose, moving the legs forward, inhale, arms up, exhaling, forward fold, Ashmottanasana, to ground us after some balancing poses, it's very important to do some grounding asanas, Ashmottanasana is known as a dive inside, it's not an easy pose even if we can touch the forehead on the ground in between the legs it's still hard looking inside is always hard work breathing release connecting the soles of the feet together hands in front of the heart we are about to end feel free to repeat this practice inhale with gratitude sign out maybe chanting on Namaste.